And Gail is out there in train land. What do you think? You think SUVs are on the way oh, back? Oh, I saw it yesterday. I saw it yesterday. I was on my way going for physical therapy mm -hmm. on my little rehab injuries, whatnot. There was a service station near uh, the facility I go to in uh, West LA, and the gas was like nine, 290, 289, yeah. something like that. Lined okay, up. SUV. People were lined up getting gas. I, I know. I, I think they're like... going to go back to their bad behaviors. Well, yeah, but I you think like... they're going to go back? Gail, do you think they're going to keep buying oh, SUVs? Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I just don't Ah, uh, I'm all aboard here. Well, you can't ride it this way. They don't want you to stretch out like this. But we're taking you aboard the 2008 Halloween Ghost Train, courtesy of the LA Live Steamers Railroad Museum. Nonprofit, they work very hard to make you happy for Halloween. We'll take you aboard for cheap when we come back. All aboard. Our resident conductor, Gail Anderson, is live in Griffith Park. Checking out the ride as she has been all morning. What are you up to? Hey, Gail. Gail. Mysterious floating table, I understand you have. Uh, uh, yes, but uh, in addition to that, do you have your t shirt? We do. Oh, oh yes, we've been given our t shirt. Very important. Hang on to that. That's a magical Halloween t shirt. We'll okay. explain why at the moment. You need the shirt and the hat if you're going to participate in the 2008 Halloween Ghost Train ride here in Griffith Park. Let us show you how detailed these, uh, these I call them little trains, but I played with Lionel trains that look just like this. Mr. Conductor, what are, we, what are you driving? The Rio Grande RS3. Okay, all aboard. Take her on out with his passengers. This is the experience you will have. You only have three more days to enjoy the Halloween experience. Over here on the other side, for those of you who don't like that kind of train, we've got Thomas. Brad, what are we riding here? This is Thomas the Tank. Oh, a family favorite. Do the eyeballs move on this one? Not this one. Okay, not this one. Okay, go on out as we head out here. As you head out here, <laughs> we're going to show you what it's like to take the ride. We took it ourselves the last uh, hour while we were riding them all morning. Let us show it to you. It's a 20-minute ride, smooth. They've got sound effects. And uh, that's the daytime version. Now, at night, let me show you how it looks. It gets a little more um, pumpkin-y. I don't know. But we're thinking about Halloween, Gary Baker. And as part of the uh, train ride, you have these more than 30 different little vignettes of Halloween fun. Not too scary. Not too scary. Uh, Asher was talking about the floating head. There it is. This floating is table. Of, this is one of the most talked about illusions that people ask us about. It's the seance room, the floating table, and they all want to know how do we do it. Well, many people have made a flying crank ghost, and this is the mechanism oh. and how it works for a flying crank ghost. And again, many people have done these on the internet. You can have the directions on monsterlist.com of how to make it. And the key is into this little wheel that freely turns in here. If you don't have that wheel, your ghost is gonna get mixed up. We've <laughs> taken the same mechanism and we put it up inside of this facade and attached the strings to it to the table. And then we've also attached the crystal ball and these were very popular last year they were very inexpensive so again thinking about your whole idea of doing halloween cheap this is one way to go keep it simple keep, keep it cheap it simple, we're going to give you the information cheap. about where you can come and enjoy this attraction the other big deal about this is that everything that's done here is put together by volunteers this is a non-profit organization los angeles live steamers Railroad uh, Museum, right. and there are a number of pieces. You even have a Disney piece here, a barn. We do. We have the Walt Disney Barn here. It was actually from the Walt Disney property. It's here every third Sunday of the month. We open it, and it's open from 11 to 3, and you can come down and see all the wonderful things inside of it that are Disney memorabilia. All right, now tell me about the magic T-shirts. Oh, the magic T-shirts. These are great. These are the must-have T-shirts. So basically the way it works is yes. that once it's charged in the sun, while we're, that's no. why I'm standing in the sun, and yeah. you go into the dark, there's individual ghosts that Ooh. appear right. on the t-shirt once you go into the dark. The picture totally changes of what you have here. But you gotta stand Whoa. in the sun and get charged. That's right, a good charge. Oh, what oh, kind okay. of laugh get was that? Oh, you that's know, that was problem. a Halloween laugh. We, we have something to go with that laugh. As we slide over, this is the official Halloween ghost train. This is because it's orange and green. It's the official colors of Halloween. Could be the official Packers train, too, kind of. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? But... <laughs> Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! We got Happy Halloween, Halloween, Gail. That was funny. We got About what? the Packers. All right, we'll talk to Gail a little right, bit later Gail. on. We'll just cut her off just like that. <clears throat> but I'm we'll taking my later. shirt into the sunshine later, Me that's too. for sure.